Sasha's butt. Don't wish that evil on Not us, Not to Penelope. mention the level of censorship. Why would you try to manage that? In spite of this, that? I could go onto a platform and in 30 minutes- is working for Trump now. Get more engagement and carry more followers by myself than virtually anybody on their accounts with their real names that they've had for years and accumulated a following. So like that's remarkable that I could go live and just pull like that because I'm such a great entertainer. And then it's also remarkable that level of censorship that some people... I would kill for HG Tutor to analyze Nick Fuentes. If there are any HG Tutor fans in the house, can someone please email him and very nicely ask him to analyze Nick Fuentes for his like celebrity narcissist like, you know, analysis thing that he does? I don't want to I don't want to do it because I don't I don't think he would listen to me. But but like if one of you are like one of his fans, one of it, what does he call them? Tutorites. Can someone please email HG Tutor at his at his designated address because he has a specific address that you can email him suggestions and ask him to analyze Nick Fuentes or like if he does a live stream, can someone send him in a super chat and please ask him to analyze Nick Fuentes? If you do this and he does analyze Nick Fuentes, I will give you free merch from my merch store. I would. I would kill HG Tutor. Please, please, please. I'm not even joking. I'm a great admirer of your work. You are amazing. You are the best. You are the best narcissist in the world. Please analyze Nick Fuentes for all of us. We would be in your debt. We would all buy your books. I've already bought like 15 of your books, but I would buy more of your books. Like, please analyze Nick Fuentes. It would be the greatest gift you could ever give to any of us. We would be forever in your debt. The first time I got attacked, it was because I said that the First Amendment doesn't apply to Muslims. And there was the thing in itself, and then there was me being attacked for it. It's then it was Charlotte. stupid thing to say. Well, in August 2017. You know, Before that, perhaps people it had was good reason, Nick. Secretly recorded video where I said race mixing is bad. Well, figure, and that Jews are out to get me. I told you you're racist. Go figure. Told you. Told you. I'm After not responsible that, for what Nick Fuentes said. It was that I supported the DACA amnesty. Yeah. If you could believe it, back in October uh -huh. 2017. Uh -huh. After that, it was a feud about $3,000 in a computer with James Alsup and Matt McGuinn. See, see, this is this is something that HG Tutor talks about. He talks about how he's gonna like he's getting like pity points. He's going through this whole list of all the ways in which Nick Fuentes is an oppressed victim to get pity points. HG Tutor, please analyze him. <laughs> please. It would be so much more interesting than Meghan Markle for the 8,000th and 87th time. Please analyze Nick Fuentes. HG, we need you. Yeah, evidence that he concealed. I'm talking about specifically What I think of Nick Fuentes or HG Tutor? Certainly I would have felt differently if I had known about it. Because I know if you're asking what I think about HG Tutor, I think HG Tutor is awesome. I think he's extremely smart and very insightful about psychology. And I've learned so much from him um, about narcissism. And that's why I want him to analyze Nick Fuentes. He does Meghan Markle like every effing day. And I know he does it because he gets views from it. Like whatever makes sense. Good business decision, I guess. But I want him to review Nick Fuentes. I want he. He released HG Tutor. I was actually thinking about doing stream about this tonight. Maybe, maybe we'll even watch this. HG Tutor released videos about Trump versus DeSantis. So he's paying attention to U.S. politics. And I want to know what he thinks. Really badly. Really, really badly. Not hang out. on, hang on. I got a super chat. Thank you, Arya. Milo is actually highly toxic and vindictive against everyone in his social orbit. Hanging out with him is basically masochism. Ain't it the truth? Ain't it the truth? I don't understand what's so appealing. Okay, like, I actually think Milo's really smart. He is extremely smart. I would also like to see HG Tutor analyze Milo Yiannopoulos, but I'm much more interested in him analyzing Nick Fuentes because, like, Milo Yiannopoulos is so obviously a narcissist that it's, like, not even worth, like, asking the question. Um, But, no, I agree with you. Milo is completely toxic. He is, he is one thousand percent toxic it is an awful idea but it's like when you see him in person he has kind of like this aura about him 
So I can understand why people get drawn into him, but it's a really bad idea. As with any narcissist, it is a really bad idea. Even if you really like them, even if they say wonderful things, even if they give you stuff and promise you the world, it is a bad idea that will always, 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 always backfire 